Hello everyone, I'm Rudrani and welcome to Zoom Insider. This show gives you exclusive access to the house of your favorite celebrity and also inside details of their lives. I'm right now standing in the corridor of someone who's so special. Well, let me give you a hint. Do you see this S here? Her name obviously starts with S. I'm talking about the talented Shruti Hassan. So let's go right inside the house. Come. Hello. Hi. Thank you for inviting me to your beautiful place. Welcome, welcome. Hi, come on in. Come on in. Jaldi, jaldi aao. You look gorgeous. Thank Let's you. Say that. Hello, excuse me, everybody. Thank you. Let's Thank you. Admire. Thank you. <laughs> Come on it. in. Shall we sit? Um, this area first. Okay. Okay. This is the, first of all. I think it's so well done. I know you always said that it's a very important part of your life, right? And like you, your house reflects who you are. So I also want to understand when you were building it, right? You're someone. By the way, she's done it all on her own. <laughs> Let's just put it out there, and and buying a house in Mumbai is a big deal. You know, it you can is. be whoever. So I want to know about when you were starting to make your house. You were doing films. You were making your own space and being who you are, and then you build this little world. I want to know all about it. So I'd actually bought another house before, mm. um, close by, and I was in a different phase of my life. So the decor was like really weird, and um, it was like pink. I had a pink brick wall mm. and. But I always had my comic book references everywhere. So this house, I always I'm from Chennai originally, and for me, I think we're like much more used to space yeah. than people in Mumbai are. So I wanted to have more space and to have a kind of flowing, fluidly up and down. And um, when I saw this shell of this yeah. house, it wasn't anything like this. I knew that I could make this into the home that I needed. And it is. What's the first thing that you do after your hectic day, mm -hmm. when you've met thousands of people and you want to just come to your own space and do? What's the first thing that Shruti does? I take off my shoes because I have cool concrete floors and they're like cool all the time. And then I take off my bra. <laughs> then That's I walk the in. best thing so, ever. I Everybody. think all women understand this because oh. you're just like. <laughs> I'm home. I wear my shorts and my t-shirt and I chill. Like I immediately shower and change. That's the best thing, everybody. All women out there, you know exactly what what she yeah. means by that. Yeah. So don't, don't now, don't go in the comments. Say she, kya bol diya usne. I Agar aap bra pente to aapko samajh mein aata. Absolutely. <laughs> Agar wo comment karne wale ho to guys, we have nothing to say. But on that note, she she said something very interesting. Like like this little door. This is like the guest loo per se. But the I want to say the powder room, darling. The powder room. The Sorry, powder room. forgive me. Um, but it's so aesthetically done. Um, you know, inside you have elements and stuff like that. Again, um, very her. Also, this door. I want to read the quote out to you. The universe is over. It's my job to put it all in order now, and lock the place behind me is as I, as leave. I leave. This is Death from the Sandman series. Neil Gaiman is my yeah. favorite author, yeah. and this is from the graphic novel. So I did a big print of it. I also love these little elements. Have you picked up stuff from here from your travels? Because I know you're somebody who there, loves that painting. Actually, I found this artist on Instagram in London, and then he sent me his painting. So I got that in London. There's a lot of knickknacks here and there. There's those tentacles. There's an artist in Goa who makes. Pottery and ceramic. So that is basically from the marbles. Don't come with it, but I put the marbles on. But I love so yeah. that I got in Goa, and then I have my little altar in which I collect crystals from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and that's beautiful. Yeah, I saw the sage. I'm like, ah, oh. yes, we sage this house. This house is cleansed and saged and good. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, and for all those who understand, it's a important. very spiritually strong it home. Is. We have our puja ghar over there as yeah. well. We're vegetarian in this house on Tuesdays, which is no fun. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think it's lovely. I feel yeah. like uh, every bit of this house is sort of uh, it shows the whole of India in that way. You know, so many cultures, so many uh, little things that you've picked up in your old self. I love it. Thank you. So while we're here, I'll obviously have to mention something that I've noticed. This is the kitchen area. It's sacred, so we're not going there. But 
I would like to say, do a little peep out there and tell you that that's the kind of awards <laughs> that is hidden and tucked in a corner. Now, and this is to each his own, but it tells you a lot about how Shruti is as a person as well. You know, she's not someone who's she is confident, but she's never gone out there to sort of shout from the rooftops. I'm actually quite underconfident. Yet. You are? I feel. And I like to keep it that way. I don't like, I li it's not even humility. Little self doubt is nice. Yeah. Otherwise, you fair. become an a hole. Yeah, that is true. Kim Ki pata hai. Ha, exactly. Yeah. You're not, but I feel like there is enough confidence also. In your yeah, yeah, yeah. Wo to, wo to which which I think is, it's because whenever you meet her, you will get that. So, <laughs> like you see, it's tucked away in a corner. We're going to obviously ask her a little about why it was tucked away in a corner. A lot of people like to put a whole mantle and write in the living room when you walk yeah, in. I don't Actors know have that. a lot of like. No, no, that's fine. Right? No, no, to each his own, like I say. To each yeah, yeah, my portrait. <laughs> yeah. That's a portrait. Like it talks a lot about this. So I want to know what that uh, it's important for you to keep it a little there. See, actually, people don't understand this. Like, actually, when I was shooting, uh, Gabbar is back. Mm. Uh, Akshay Kumar said, uh, "Rewards, not awards." Mm. And I also, I grew up in a house where. Papa is like off one room in the office. It has so many awards. It's like an Amazon go down for awards. Okay, it's just so many awards. So I was like, "Bhai, mere se na ho paega ye sab." So I've always been. <coughs> I'm very thankful for the awards, but I don't know about putting it out and saying, "Look here, mere awards." Pretty but cool. also, I go to the fridge every day. Every day, they look at me, and then I think. So I have my own. Yeah. I love that though. I love that. But it gives you a little more insight into who she is as well, which is lovely. We're going to now go to the other side of it. Um, the little space that she's created, which is a little bit of greenery, place that obviously my favorite area, dining room, because they get to eat. And I love doing that. Yes. It's a little space that is there. We're going to go head that side. Uh, to show a little bit more aspect of this beautiful house that she has here. And we are coming closer to our favorite area, uh, which is that side, and we will talk about that. You were talking about the travels thing here. Yeah, so this this guy, it's, it's to say positively and it. hopefully say F off to the things you don't want in your life, which is the that. biggest spiritual, <laughs> like to know, yeah. no. No, not in my space, not this energy. So that's the norm. Um, this I got in Europe. These little ones I got on Amazon because I just like skulls. And um, sage. But I love it. Yeah. And this, um, these I got in um, America when I was traveling, the elemental stones. Mm -hmm. This was a gift for Diwali. These are my, this is my favorite tarot deck. I read tarot for myself and only few people, the macabre tarot deck. Um, yeah, so I just collect different things. This actually is one of the first gifts my dad gave my mum. Oh, really? So yeah, oh, so right. I've kept it carefully, and yeah, so it's just um, and there's my favorite Lord Murugan, and then there's Saraswati, there's Natraj, mm -hmm. and then that I got in Greece, which I thought was really beautiful and positive. This is your spiritual corner. Yeah, and um, yeah, it just encompasses, and I have my favorite. Uh, Saint wow, Frida Kahlo candle. I love it. <laughs> so it's this so was from cool. LA. So I collect from everywhere. And then I have these uh, silly things which people laugh at me, which is <laughs> an energy um, cleansing spray. So we will. We have cleansing. The aura has, aura has been cleansed. Yeah, it doesn't I smell of it. anything. Yeah. No, but it is. I'm I bet that's a scam. But I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah, but you like to believe it's not. It's but also it's psychological yeah. belief. Yeah, yeah, it is. How was it for you in the beginning? Because you've been able to be extremely secure where you are in this industry, it's not easy. Um, it's not, it's It's kind of like, I think I, I did let it affect, it. before I had this attitude of like, it's not, it, it doesn't affect me, don't mm -hmm. look at it, don't go to social media, just post and bounce, you know. Yeah, yeah. But dunya aise nahi chalti, like we are human beings yeah. and we hear these things and kabhi na kabhi I feel, um, arre yaar kuch bhi karu, English mein bolo to bolte Tamil mein baat karo, Tamil mein bolo to bolte Hindi nahi aati. To it this or kaise kapde pehne, kya kar rahe ho tum? Like, ha, ye saari achha hai. Every day aise, every day kaun pehne ga saari? You know, so there's a lot of things. But weirdly, the more I worked on my mental health, 
the more I, uh, you know, going in therapy and acknowledging ki, nahi nahi, I'm not made of stainless steel. Wo dukhta hai. Kabhi lagta hai ki, not just for me ki, aap kitno, kitne logo ko aise gaali deete ho. Like, why can't you just get a life, right? So true. Everyone. Yeah, yeah. So, I feel, abhi kya ho gaya hai ki, that teenage Shruti, no? Mm. Who revels in being different. Yeah. Who, in my school, they used to be like, you don't listen to Backstreet Boys, why do you listen to this metal? I was like, more metal. <laughs> you know, and uh, you, why do you always wear black? More black. Because this is my uniform. Hai. I'm saying I'm not like you. Yeah. And the older I've become, the more I've returned to who I was when I was younger, saying, but this is me. And I'll do more because I like it. This is a beautiful green area that you have. Can we sit? Yeah, of yeah, sit here. Come. Haan. We are talking about music, Ji. Shruti. I think you got very... Anyone who tries to figure out Shruti from a playlist, I don't think we'll able to figure it out. I think my last uh, song... I listen to a lot of UK grime. I listen to metal every day. And I've been listening to my favourite band, Korn, every day. It's just weird, I've regressed while I progress, <laughs> you know. And I listen to Slipknot mm -hmm. and Korn every day now, because it's my workout music. Yeah. Because it's just like, go oh, Shruti, you can do it. Uh, yeah, you know. And I just recently heard Anirudh's entire Leo album. Because I really, I'm so proud of Ani and all the amazing work he's done. So I wanted to listen to that. And then I discovered a song by uh, Diljit called Case. And I really loved it. I'd never heard of it. <laughs> That's true. Uh, then I listened to a lot of uh, um, dark wave, new wave. Mm. Uh, post punk stuff. Yeah. And then in the middle of all of that, we'll always, like every week, I'll need to listen to Raymansa's Mukabla. I don't know why. It just makes me feel really good. I love good. the track. Yeah. But, and because you said this, you like, see. La, la. And I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I love the track. Yeah. But did you see, you get the idea of where I was going with this. I think it's amazing. And I am so proud that today as an artist you are putting out so much more music. In the beginning I know you said you will but you are doing that. Yeah. Are you satisfied at that pace because you are truly doing exactly what you wanted to do? No, I mean I'm, I take every day and I'm, I practice gratitude. Mm. Um, but I always also say that I need, I need to do more, I need to do more music, I need to do better films, I need to do better performances. Like that's just my mindset. So today I have gratitude. And then right after that, I'm like, but what more? <laughs> mm. Yeah. But you, with the track that is out right now, which has received so much of love. Yes. A, again, it's the music that you do and you love and you've been able to amalgamate two, three things in it. And which is why people, I think, like your music. It is very different. It is. It has an own individual thing. It's not like the others that are doing it. Yeah, with Monster Machine, I wanted to kind of hark back to where I started, which was poetry. Yeah. So I didn't want to over sing in the beginning. But I had this feeling inside me that what, what is it? What, what is inside me? And I realized it's a monster. Yeah. And we all have it. We do. It's a song of self-acceptance. Har rose, you we see on Instagram, perfect, glow, yeah. filter, amazing. Yeah, oh, so thik hai. Lekin, agar aap darkness ko acknowledge nahi karenge, you will never enjoy the light. This, this is what I believe, you know. So, um, the song is an amalgamation of singer, songwriter, poet, and of course, there's a bit smattering of Tamil here and there because I'm very Tamil. Uh -huh. Okay, we're talking about music. We are going to go to now an area which is, I'm sure, for every artist sacrosanct. It has the very famous Adiola. And I'm wondering what Adiola <laughs> is. We'll have to go there and find out. Her two best friends, uh, oh she doesn't really God, let come everybody on. come and see them. Okay, I'm going to so, come there. So. So let's go ladies and gentlemen. No problem. Are you ready to introduce your best friends to the world? Yeah, so guys, I'm sorry about the mess. We're doing like a, a shoot here. So it's a bit of a mess. But um, this is my new music book that my dad gifted me. And I love it because it has my initials. Wow. And I can actually write music in it. So that's my new present, which is lovely. This is my piano. The and lovely Adiola, everybody. Adiola. And that is Fiona. So, if anyone's heard a song called Body by Russ Millions, then you'll know why they're called Fiona and Adiola. So, Go you will out. know. <laughs> Go find out. And uh, you have seen Shruti practicing. Yeah, many times I've All post. her sessions. Yes. But actually, how many hours have you been practicing? 
uh, since you full on got so they say that you should complete a thousand hours mm -hmm. I've completed the thousand hours for sure yeah um, but I don't I, I don't check like that but mm -hmm. I do do vocal exercises every alternate day for 15 minutes she is a very important part of your life yes this 100%. is my baby this is where all my feelings my emotional ulti happens yeah, <laughs> yeah. the emotional ulti happens I also want to know where do you write in this house which, is there a corner that you write specifically? The couch. The couch is the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But I end up writing a lot on aeroplanes because um, there's no phones, there's no phone calls. You don't want to talk to the passenger most of the time. So, I don't know, being in the sky, mm. it's really inspiring. I write a lot of my poems in on aeroplanes. That is so interesting to know and also I'm sure Fiona also appreciates you. So I have to tell you guys when I first got her, she was facing outwards because we were set up and the building people thought that I stand and watch everyone coming in and out. Yeah. So, that so that's Fiona. Sabko hai. <laughs> I think it's lovely. And this is the most amazing collection. them from everywhere so you can see it's I love it. What's the story? Switzerland and then uh, there are different kind of ducks. There's Batman duck, nurse duck, I love bridal it. duck, policeman duck. This duck is from Greece. This is vampire duck. So bishop duck. <laughs> so I'm a tripping over vampire duck but I love it. It's the cutest And then the biggest uh, king duck. <laughs> yeah. But I know there's a story here. I love it. This this is death from Sandman again the same one from the Correct. door. And then this, if anyone remembers uh, our trolls, ah. they were my favorite uh, toys as kids. But trolls are now my least favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you deal with them okay. I, I don't, but, think, um, it, I don't yeah. think it bothers you though. If trolls look like this, I would like them. But we do, uh, the thing is, we would never know what the trolls are. They don't have the courage. Ah, you don't face me, right? Ah. Exactly. There there. you go. But then I, I love it. This is also a corner where you have like some lovely books and, yes. and all of that. Pretty much you're a collection that a lot of people who watch, play video games, watch a lot of graphic movies, novels. Graphic novels. Yeah. We'll, we'll be a little jealous right now, but then we've given you a little insight. <coughs> and this is also the area, and sometimes, like you were seeing, Ashwiti does her photo shoots um, and my workouts. And this is the area where you're sweating it out and yeah my TRX cable is hidden here so I do it here I don't like gyms so much yeah but yeah. I think you've been killing it with the kickboxing yeah I do I do love MMA it really makes me feel very centered heavy metal and martial arts are like my way to go in life heavy metal and martial arts what a combination <laughs> I love it okay now but, but pretty much I think this house has everything around I like the way it's been structured as well you know what I mean so yeah it, I like the up and down a lot yeah. like because it's like life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to come and sit now in an area where all the guests sit. Yeah. And have the rest of the chat here. G. And Shruti in her heels can now feel at ease. Yeah, I'm good. These are anciently comfortable heels. Yeah. But this is the space also where you sort of chill with friends and stuff like that. I chill with friends and I, when I'm not shooting, this is where I veg out for like two days straight. Really? Yeah. yeah. I totally veg out here. I love my couch. I love... Clara will be here. Usually Clara sleeps on that corner and then like attacks my toes sometimes and then I just I sit here and like watch movies and I have like a home theatre so that's the projector and just watch movies and I, I chill out here. I love this place. And I watch Love is Blind here. <laughs> of course you do. But I was very invested in the leather point and I used to keep telling my God I know. I, and I, I don't very... like reality shows at all. Yeah, But I like sitting and telling you don't do it. Yeah, it's just love is blind has got me. I love the feeling of falling in love, watching other people fall in love and then you're like, no, no, this is not love, like all those <laughs> comments. Yeah, I love it. While we are here, I definitely must say that um, you also been someone who is not going regular to parties and a lot of actors no. are often said, are often told that, right? That you have to be seen enough. I used to. Yeah. You have again, like I said, you've reached that space of security where you feel like I'm going to do exactly what I want and not listen to it. Well, I'm sober for for eight years yeah. now. So I don't really always, I don't judge people who sure. drink and party. 
because I, I, you know, I used to have a drink and party. It's fine. Sure. But it's not the environment that I can continuously put myself in mm. because it's a part of not drinking and staying sober yeah. and I've never done drugs yeah. so just living a sober life is like super important mm. and I feel I did start drinking because of social anxiety I used to go to these parties and I, I felt really uncool and I didn't know what to say and I would get liquid courage you know yeah. to help me through so it's like really triggering for me so I just leave those environments behind and now by the time I passed out from high school I was like I'm like this only. I feel like that now, here. And I'm making the kind of music I want, I'm playing the kind of roles I want. By God's grace, I'm getting those opportunities. And Hollywood too, I just want to say. Yeah. Um, international, <laughs> not just national. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm really in a good, good, fun space. You did go international, you are going international. Tell us that. Tell us a little more on it. Uh, you've been, of course, balancing uh, the two places. You're, uh, India and uh, then you're shooting outside as well and yeah. uh, you've been doing that for a while now. Yeah. So let's talk about that. So um, I finished a film called The Eye which is doing the festival circuits abroad. It just won awards at the Greek Film Festival. Woohoo! And what was really, I loved the story. Mm. I love. I really love um, stories that have confidence in, in themselves. Mm. You know there's this whole thing of film itna hona chahiye and but it's like cutting someone's conversation short. Yeah. You don't know how they want to say it. You don't yeah. know. So this movie felt like a conversation that needed to be had. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean the political conversation. I mean, it felt like this character speaks this way at this pace, mm -hmm. at this length about her despair. I met some not so great people. I've met some great people in the movie business. Mm -hmm. But this set of people collectively it's the first time in Tamil there's a word called like, um, it, there's an expression like Nalla Amanjirkum which means like, um, how to say, sub, it's, flowed, it's flowed in perfectly, like it's yeah. just sat in its correct space. Because mm. it is an amalgamation of such wonderful people. I adore Prashant sir and Bhuvan sir shot Monster Machine which was incredible. I was like I'm making this music and he was like come Shruti I'll shoot your video and I was like sir I can't afford you and he's like I'll just shoot your video. Oh, nice. How does that even happen? Seriously. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then... And yeah. Sorry I interrupted you, but I love the video. Yeah, from the concept to the way it's been shot, so, you know, amazing. Yeah. So I love it. It was really amazing and he was so collaborative with our director, Dwarakesh, who's from Chennai. And then we had one more version, which is like another story, it'll be in my autobiography, but like... <laughs> the, <laughs> I hope you're writing it already. No, no, I'm, I always am waiting for some people I'm to kidding. die so then I can <laughs> such, such <laughs> pull sakti <laughs> But Yeah. Or like more NOCs from yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, how many NOCs you have to But, um, <laughs> but uh, this, so we did that version and then when we were coming down to the second version, Bhuvan sir was like, no, 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 let's do it bigger, better. And then Prashant sir was like, use the part of the salar set mm. by not using, like, who even? Such generosity of spirit. Prabhas was like, tell me when it's releasing, I want to tweet it, okay, I don't know how to do it, but I'll do it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and feeding us on set, like he feeds us too much, but just good energy. Wonderful, you know, we spoke about Shruti the musician, the artist. Uh, we let, let's talk about Shruti the actor, because you've been very patient in waiting and holding your ground. Um, you know, if, in between, of course, everybody has to pay their own bills, <coughs> and she pays her own bills. I really do. Yeah. There are comments for Monster Machine saying, Papa ke paise se banai nahi. Mere paise se. Ye ghar, mere paise se. Ye kapde, mere paise. Nahi, nahi, ye return hoga. Ye jute, mere paise se. Magnificent jute. Yeah. So you are in your space trying to do the best with the offers that you get, but you're not getting restless. You have, it's very difficult to be this patient and you've been and that is why these choices come It's because right Rudrania was written off very badly mm. right in the start. There was a review that says, Tum isko andar kisne choda nikalo usko, basically. Yeah. It was in the Hindu in Chennai, I remember yeah. it. It was so cruel. I understood that they didn't like it, but it was so cruel. I think anyone else would have quit. Mm. But I'm just, I'm I'm like that, Besharam. So I was like, no, I'll do it and I'll do it because I like to do it in my work. And it's been a journey. I'm not a naturally gifted actor and I have worked and I've worked to a level 
where I seem naturally comfortable in doing it because I enjoy it. It is my lifeline. It is what I grew up around. I've done commercial films. I'm not ashamed of them. Yeah, of course. I am not. They have given me great success. Mm. They've given me audiences I could have never reached otherwise. And uh, they've, I've they, they've made they've given that that power position that you have today a little bit. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And I, only they have actually. And then. There are films I have really loved and put my heart and soul into and they've not worked and that's okay. But this place is my place. The film industry is my home. Yeah. And I'm not saying it in a nepotistic way alone because yes, nepotism hai kyunki darwaze khule mere surname se. But I know hand on my heart with God as my witness, my parents have never helped me. There were many times I wanted to pick up the phone and say papa I'm like not getting work what can I do this is like earlier on yeah. I figured it out yeah. I figured it out like any other girl in any new job mm -hmm. I love being here and I love the stuff I'm working on and I feel I am not everyone's cup of tea when I brew it myself <laughs> so you know first of all thank you for being a part of Zoom Insider giving us a little bit more insight details about who you are and your yeah. House. I also want to clarify क्योंकि लोग बोलते हैं दीवारों पे पेंट नहीं लगाया। Every time they see my house, this is on purpose. ठीक है। Okay, moving on. Yeah, this is a vibe. This is a vibe. How do you look at look back at your journey, Shruti, from you starting off and today sitting in your own house? I'm very grateful. Really, I'm very grateful. I'm I'm thankful for. All the all the stuff that has happened mm. in my life. There's some avoidable shit which I think I really yawn. But <laughs> mostly, mostly I would say 98%. Mm. So happy with all the lessons I learned, the people I met, um, the the work I did, the friends I made, the friends I lost. All of that has led me to this point. And today I feel really one with uh, the synchronicity of the universe. Like I said, she put it so beautifully together. Did you hear that? <laughs> Thank Please you. listen to that again. But I think it is every word that you said is true. Um, I just hope I live my life as authentically as you've left yours. You have. I, I mean, I, I mean, I try. She's um, also pagal like me only. Yeah. I am a little bit, and I think that is why I'll, I'll always call her a friend. But I'm, I really admire oh. what you've been able to do with, with your life. Shruti, since you are here, we must end yes. with fun questions for Zoom Insider. Are you ready? Ready. Has to be a little about the house and everything. <coughs> ready? The first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. What's one corner of your house that only you are allowed to sit and nobody else can? No, no. I don't have any corner like that. I'm very open and generous okay. with sharing space. Okay. Just not sharing uh, food so much. Like on from my plate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not sharing food space is fine. Yeah. Very joy of you. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you, you should not go and talk about friends. No, no, we can't. We, we can't. Rona we can't. Okay. We can't. Yes. okay. Huh? But one thing that you think you make the best? Sambar. Yeah? Yeah, notoriously good sambar. What is your uh, space in the house where you think you can have your romantic dates when you can? Which is that space here? I think we have romantic dinners where I set the table. Properly and, and all of that. We How light sweet. a few candles and we have a conversation where we put our phones away. See? Yes. It is important to do that, yes. isn't it? Yeah. You mentioned that you have the projector here. What is the last thing that you binge watched? The last thing I've binge watched is like re-watched is Peaky Blinders. Okay. Um, and I'm like at the end of, uh, towards the end of season six. I have an obsession with Thomas Shelby and Peaky Blinders. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing. I love the series. Yeah. So I keep re-watching Peaky Blinders. There's something wrong with me. It's like an affliction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is one song of yours that you would like to do a your own rendition? What would that be and why? What do you mean? A song of mine, Matla? A song of any film song. It, maybe not it's not mine, yours. Not mine, but Papa has a song called uh, Anbir Sivam. And I would love to do, redo that with Papa. Yeah. As Please make it happen. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. But we're already working on a music project together. Mm. But it's just Papa's lyrics. Because you have so many books and you made the joke about autobiography. <laughs> but will there be a biography? If not autobiography, ever that you want to write about your life because it is so interesting. Oh God, I don't know. And I, you must have given little thought to it, no? What say things as they are? Yeah. I don't know if y'all are ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for it, please. Uh, no, I'm too young to even mm. think about it. No, not now, but eventually maybe. If I find out I'm dying, I might do it. I, I mean, it. Just I, I just. 
की जरूरत नहीं है मैं निकल जाऊंगी तो क्या है What what do you think the title would be? Hmm. I don't want to think of you dying. That's not where I'm going with this she at came, all. She saw <laughs> and she conquered a little bit. Yeah. No, 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 she conquered also a little. Come on. Yeah. Okay. I what is one object in this room that is most personal to you in this house, not the room. Um and why and the story behind it? Uh I think it's that photograph of uh my dad and me and my sister. My mum took the photograph, and that frame hasn't been changed in over 25 years. It's the same frame, yeah. and um, it was in our home in Kodaikanal, yeah. and that's Kodi, as uh, people call it. And uh, I, I love that because it, you know, kind of keeps the family together in my head. There's a ritual that my mother tells me to do, like sit. and then do like a little bit of a prayer before leaving the house is there a ritual that should be followed oh yeah like we do all of it here both put vibhuti before we go for any important things and we always do a prayer mm. and we leave yeah how lovely which when was the last time you missed this house so much because you went out to travel and what is it that you missed most about it clara mm. because the house is fine and is taken care of by the wonderful staff i have at home and the team i have at home yeah but clara like she doesn't understand right and she can't be like hey mom what's up i was scratching my bum today or like she can't tell me anything so i face time her and then she's really sad we're ending with this last question what is the misconception that people have about you which obviously after they meet you it has changed i don't know if it's changed but even my mom was saying and then another friend was saying that i seem really intimidating and i don't mean to intimidate unless you deserve it but <laughs> uh, oh, snap. no i think people think uh, i think people don't realize how sensitive i am mm. yeah it's not a I misconception agree. I think people think I'm really like rock hard and arrogant yeah, yeah. and um, I can take it. Mm -hmm. I actually can't. I cry a lot and I'm super sensitive. Um and I'm um I react quite aggressively when people lie to me. It's just a problem I've always yeah. had because it's not e I I made a promise to myself that I I would try not to lie. because it's really hard to keep track of lies yeah, yeah. so it's like steve jobs with his one black shirt i was like jitna jhoot bologe utna time usme jayega jiska time aap kisi aur acche kaam pe use kar sakte yeah. ho so when people like blatantly lie to me then i'm a bit of a b mm -hmm. but otherwise the misconception is basically even with people close to me that shruti can take it she's tough right yeah she's she she'll make a joke about it mm -hmm. she she doesn't care she has a middle finger up she'll do it but Actually, I'm I'm super sensitive. Yeah, yeah. That she is, and on that <laughs> note, thank you one once again for being super sensitive <laughs> and for being who you are. Like I said, I will always admire your strength, your vulnerabilities, and thank your you. artistic abilities. Thank, thank you. Thank you for being part of Zoom Insider and giving us this wonderful. Thank you guys for coming over. Lots of love. Let's. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much everybody. We Bye. love it. <laughs>